Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel. This is Tesla DMV. We are here on the Capitol Beltway. This is 495 and this is going to be FSD on the highway. Alright, so we know to just go ahead and merge um, because, oh, let's see how FSD handles this. Interesting. I mean, safe. Safely handled and uh, we are now using single stack on the Capitol Beltway here. So we are on 495 and uh, we're switching lanes and we did a great job about switching lanes and um, right now we are approaching Tyson's Corner so straight ahead would be uh, Tyson's Corner. This is actually the exit for the toll road so just so you know specifically where I am. Um, heading towards the Arlington area so just trying to mix it up a little bit and show you all um, FSD on the highway like you see here I got a big 18 wheeler next to me which shows up beautifully here on the visualization as well as the one that's two cars ahead of me um, you know and, and that's just great because that's one of the big updates that you see compared to navigate on autopilot it was a little dumbed down I guess you could say now, now you can see how the, the trucks are in front of each other and um, FSD also picked up the flashing lights here and I think it did a great job uh, recognizing that because the other day it picked up that just based off some lights off the, um, the blue lights that come up on Route 66 if any locals are familiar it thought one of those lights were emergency lights and, and I think it's pretty amazing how it's stitching together um, you know a, a very accurate image of 495 so yeah I, I think that's great so here we go with an automatic lane switch and uh, wow very smooth for the highway it did that at great speed too um, and we're getting ready to take this exit so wow so this is like a really bad okay so I actually took over there um, for safety purposes but FSD may have been able to handle that but just because it I knew for a fact that I, I could get over I did and I saw the emergency hazard um, with the 18 wheeler pulled over and at the end of the day you know I just didn't want to risk it with potentially like him on the side of the road or something so I, I kind of wish I let FSD run that to see what would have happened but it's kind of better that I didn't. All right, so we need to get over in, in this lane immediately. Let's see how we do here. Very, very nice job about switching before the solid line. I think I would have dinged it personally if FSD tried to switch over here. And I personally wouldn't have felt safe letting it do that, but look at this exit. Wow, I mean, I was, I was noticing uh, a couple people tweeting and some YouTubers like, um, Cole Mars, for example. I'm getting a lot of mixed reviews from him, too. Um, one of my uh, fellow testers in Canada, Cold Envy, is kind of dealing with some of the similar issues out there. So, and, and that's especially when it comes to the highway, it sounds like everyone's having those particular issues. But um, it sounds like uh, overall there's major improvement. I mean, if there's just you know one fix for all that would just be the most amazing thing but I know everyone lives in such different areas and our you know roads are set up a little different too uh, the way people drive is a little different in all areas so um, you know I, I'm having a pretty positive experience with FSD version 11 uh, so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there that you know it's only going to get better, really, you know, that's the beauty of it. Uh, now that they only have one single stack to work on, it's for all the roads. Um, you know, they're going to find a way to make this great. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching this. I hope you all um, enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and uh, make sure you subscribe. And I uh, hope you have a great, great night if it's nighttime for you and great day if it's daytime for you. Thanks again. Bye.